Hey, this is Jonathan Bukhara from Fluency Plus Plus. Let me wish you a happy new year. I'm talking to you from the house of my mate Greg from Normandy. And for this new year, I want to share with you a couple of resolutions to take to write better code. Those resolutions fall into two categories. The first category is to change our attitude, things we can change just right now. And the second one is some goals you can set for, for this new year to achieve to write better code. One thing you can start doing right now is stop complaining about the quality of your code or the code you're working with. Don't complain just for the sake of complaining. If you have to complain, then make it constructive. Learn from that code why it's wrong or actually change it. But if you don't, well, the code is there, so let's just work with it. Next one is to be very open during code reviews. If you're actually trying to write expressive code, then you're trying to write code that people understand. So you want to hear what people think about your code. If they don't understand it, then they are right. Another thing you can do in your attitude is to try to help people genuinely. Like if someone is asking for you to have a look at their code, then do your best to actually help them and you will draw something out of it because you'll see new problems, new situations, and that's a fantastic way to be exposed to a lot of things and gain experience rapidly. Now about goals that you can set for this new year. Well, one classical goal that you have on Fluency++ is to learn all the STL algorithms. You can check out the STL learning resource on fluencypp.com STL to help you with that. Another useful thing to know is the data structures, and that's valid even outside of C++, of course. Trees, graphs, heaps, maps, hash maps, sets, that kind of things. You need to know how they work and when you can use them. I'll try to write more articles about that. Talking about writing articles, why wouldn't you write some? It's a fantastic way to master a specific topic. Just write what you know about it. You can write for yourself and you can also write for people so you can start a blog potentially. And if you don't want to get into the hassle of opening your blog, you can always submit your article to Fluent C++, which is open to guest posting. This way you get more exposure and more feedback from people. Another thing you can do this year is attend a software development conference. There's a ton of conference out there like CBBCon, ACCU, Meeting C++, Pacific++, it, and a lot of others. It's great to go there to meet people, to listen to interesting talks, and why not to talk there yourself? So these are my recommendations for the resolutions for this new year. I wish you a fantastic new year full of achievement, of exciting project and to get better at what matters to you. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking that red button that's waiting for you or smash up that thumb up button if you like the video. Thank you. I'll see you next time and happy new year.